Sunday Painter. I want to introduce you to an art of symbolism. In this short video, we will take a quick look at symbolism just to pique your curiosity to learn about a new way of seeing. For more art information like this, subscribe to the Sunday Painter and hit the little bell so you know when I post a new art related video. Also you can leave a name of an artist you would like to know more about in the comments. So what is symbolism and how learning about this art style may change how you do yours? There are many works of art that you know well, that have hidden meanings, that are lost through time or we was never taught this language. This is the practice of representing things by symbols, or of investing things with a symbolic meaning or character. Such as death or love. Let's take a look at symbolism and how you may use it in your art. Symbolism was a late 19th century art movement of French, Russian and Belgian origin in poetry and other arts seeking to represent absolute truth symbolically through language and metaphorical images, mainly as a reaction against naturalism and realism. The term symbolist was first applied by the critic Jean Morias, who invented the term to distinguish the symbolists from the related decadence of literature and of art. Distinct from, but related to, the style of literature, symbolism in art is related to the Gothic component of Romanticism and Impressionism. Symbolism was largely a reaction against naturalism and realism, anti-idealistic styles which were attempts to represent reality in its gritty particularity, and to elevate the humble and the ordinary over the ideal. Symbolism was a reaction in favor of spirituality, the imagination, and dreams. Certain of the characteristic subjects of the decadence represent naturalist interest in sexuality and taboo topics. The symbolist style has frequently been confused with the decadent movement, the name derived from French literary critics in the 1880s, suggesting the writers were self-indulgent and obsessed with taboo subjects. In painting, symbolism can be seen as a revival of some mystical tendencies in the Romantic tradition, and was close to the self-consciously movement. There were several rather dissimilar groups of symbolist painters and visual artists, which included Gauguin, Klimt, Redon, Munch, and many others. The symbolist painters used mythological and dream imagery. The symbols used by symbolism are not the familiar emblems of mainstream iconography but intensely personal, private, obscure and ambiguous references. More a philosophy than an actual style of art, symbolism in painting influenced the contemporary Art Nouveau style. The pre-Raphaelites were contemporaries of the earlier symbolists, and have much in common with them. The symbolist painters were an important influence on Expressionism and Surrealism in painting, two movements which descend directly from symbolism. Symbolism became so popular that it came to be known as a national style. Particularly in landscape painting, the static strangeness of painters like Magritte can be considered as a direct continuation of symbolism. There are many commonly used symbols that go beyond the paint, symbols used to convey a deeper set of ideas, meanings or principles. Symbolist subject matter is typically characterized by an interest in the occult, the morbid, the dream world, melancholy, evil, and death. Here are some examples. Heart pierced by an arrow could be symbolized on how love is both pleasurable and painful. Honeysuckle used as a symbol to love and generosity. Sunflowers, as a flower which blindly follows the sun, sunflowers have become a symbol of infatuation or foolish passion. Poppies is used as a symbol of death. You get the idea, there are so many to list. These may start you on your path toward gaining the artist's intent, but an accurate understanding can only be found by taking in the entire work as a whole, and even then, oftentimes artists will purposely leave some components up for audience interpretation. Symbolism provided a transition from Romanticism in the early part of the 19th century to Modernism in the early part of the 20th century. In addition, the internationalism of symbolism challenges the commonly held historical trajectory of modern art developed in France from Impressionism through Cubism. Symbolism emphasized the meaning behind the forms, lines, shapes, and colors. The works of some of its proponents exemplify the ending of the tradition of representational art coming from classical times. Symbolism can also be seen as being at the forefront of modernism, in that it developed new and often abstract means to express psychological truth and the idea that behind the physical world lay a spiritual reality. Symbolists could take the ineffable, such as dreams and visions, and give it form. Albert Aurier published an article about Gauguin in 1891, in which he gave the first definition of symbolism in aesthetic terms. He described it as the subjective vision of the artist expressed through a non-naturalistic style. 
many of Gauguin's artworks are considered key symbolist works. Gauguin sought to escape from the industrialized world by exploring what were considered primitive cultures. The idealism behind symbolism is the very reason it was later renounced. The First World War caused terrible disillusionment and the naive beauty of symbolist art was rejected and criticized. Modernism took over as artists went in totally new directions to oppose the violence and destruction of the war and deal with its traumas, movements such as Dada and Surrealism emerged, each in their own ways owing elements to symbolism, while exploring new avenues and seeking answers in irrational, raw and primitive art. Culture is also a factor in how symbolism is interpreted. Animal symbols are also seen differently by different people. Art can be interpreted in any way we choose to. That is the beauty in it. It can be anything we want it to be, but for people who are fascinated with it for all the stories it represents, the key to understanding any particular art piece would be to learn about the artist, the period in history when it was created, the cultural setting and the meaning of the art symbols at the time. So how can you use symbolic meaning in your work? As children we go through stages of development in terms of drawing skills, one of which includes symbolic drawing, using a symbol to represent something else. We start to understand and tell stories they create symbols in their drawings to stand for real things in their environment. Circles and lines come to represent many different things. Symbolism can in fact be a way to extract your inner workings of the psyche and discover more about yourself, to help you develop as an artist. With certain aspects of everyday life and experience evolve in meaning and associated significance, making them symbols of something besides what they actually are. You might want to try the project using symbols in your paintings to help you develop your own symbols and paintings based on those symbols. Using messages behind your paintings may not always be obvious to all who view it, but with symbols that may very well easily understood by people of today. So what meaning or symbolic meaning to you apply to these, white hat, snake and apple, an owl or a skull and hourglass? You get the idea. This creates a deeper meaning in a work besides being a pretty picture. Hope you enjoyed this short documentary, there is always more to symbolism, and I hope this sparks your curiosity. For more art video and related art subjects, subscribe to my channel, also don't forget to look outstanding and get your quality custom fun distressed artist tees, the link is in the description below. Don't miss out, you may find something you like or a gift for someone, nowhere else in the world. Be unique. Please leave a positive comment. Have a great day and thanks for watching.